So for the longest time, magicians have taken selected cards, lost them in the pack, got another card, changed it into the selection. This is nothing new. But magicians nowadays are starting to improve on it. They're trying to break up, down the effect. They're trying to um, kind of break up the color change, make it happen in different stages. If you've ever seen my Infinity Change, I'll put a link to, this, to it in the description. Uh, I, I can do I do a, a version of this where I break down, I, I make the card go lighter and lighter and lighter until it turns into a blank card, and then it becomes the, spe the spectator's chosen card. So this is not, not a new concept, but it's something that magicians are doing more and more of, and this is a little version of that. So a card can be selected, um, they can say stop as I go through, or they can uh, touch one uh, like, uh, like I go through like this, doesn't really matter, let's say I touch this one, that's the four of diamonds. So the four, we'll place that more or less in the middle, and we can you know mix up the cards, uh, things like that, it's fine. Um, it doesn't really matter, the, the point is we take the top card, in this case, it's the Five of Diamonds. Now, the Five of Diamonds is how we think of it as magicians. We think of it, let me just show you, right? We think of it as how many aspects are, are there to this card, right? There's the indexes, the five, right, the numbers, and then you have the pips. So there's five pips, uh, there's a pip there showing you what suit it is, and then the, then the number itself. So let's just take it, break it up and take it step by step. So the five, let's take it and just work, at, work with the indexes first. You see the four go, and you see the other four just transform like so. So now, if you take a look at this card right now, there's, there's four on the card, so we've done that much, but there still are five pips. I don't know if you can see that. There's one, two, three, four, and five. But watch this as I just shake very, very slowly. You're gonna see that pip just transform just like so into that four of diamonds, just like that. And that is just another way of slowing down that color change to the point where it's just happening right in front of your eyes. I love it. What's good peeps, it's your boy Eduard Toda and in today's video we're finally reacting to Ryan Hayashi, something that's been requested so much like when, when this came out, when this guy performed, uh, so many people requested it that it's insane and I'm definitely going to be looking forward to it. I've heard some good stuff about it. I, I, I kept myself from watching this just so I could react to it. So very, very uh, curious to see what this is. Before we get into it, uh, a friend of the, the channel and a viewer and uh, uh, yeah, just all around good guy, Ryan, um, is a dialysis patient and he needs a transplant. He's been trying to um, like do kind of fundraising to, to, get, to get some money to do that. Um, he's the guy that actually designed the end credit scene. If you see my videos with the, you know, the cards at the end, a lot of people ask me about that. He just designed that for me out of like just because he wanted to. He's a big fan, so um, you know, it wasn't I didn't ask him to do it or anything. So um, definitely go out. I'll put the link to his GoFundMe in uh, in the description. And if you you know if you can give a, a couple bucks, I'm sure it'll mean a lot. With that being said, let's get straight into this reaction. Curious to see what this is. Let's go. I'm Ryan Hayashi. When I was a kid, I had two heroes, Bruce Lee and David Copperfield. <laughs> they inspired me. I wanted to do what they did. Ryan Hashi, the martial let's arts go. and magic are Sparring very fiction, similar one. because they both come from older traditions that have been passed down over centuries. I'm not, I'm not trying to mess to with you with that sword, though. certain <laughs> movements to the point that there's precision, but at the same time having a flow and making it your own. Very good. The first time I actually combined magic and the martial arts was the samurai madman of magic. I cut up vegetables around people's heads, blindfolded. Oh, it's that kind of act, okay. Now, I'm shedding my samurai character and stripping down my performance to magic in its purest <laughs> form. Showing off that what I can do him. with a few coins that fit in my pocket. That like really intense, like, you know, that suits him for sure. Although it would be cool to see him do it in a gi, like just in a kimono, you know? Japanese for, time to get my freak on! How you guys doing? It would be a little weird though, if I, yeah. on a second thought. When I was a kid in the 1980s, I saw Penn and Teller on television performing an act with just a pencil and a cigarette. This act fooled me and taught me the basics of magic. So Penn, Teller, I now present to you what you inspired in me 30 years ago. I'm going to hurt your brain. Using these four cards That's... and four coins in an original routine I call the ultimate matrix. Very pretentious statement. Just a moment, I'm gonna hurt your brain. To Let's see what he has. Appear and disappear, changing their positions around the square. 
traveling from their corners to all come together, gathering here in this corner and landing underneath this square. And if I can create the illusion that those coins move without me using my hands, well then, I might just fool you. Nice, nice. So far, it seems pretty classical, I believe. I don't think it's anything new. Form. Four coins in a square. A card over each coin. Watch closely because this does happen very fast. Okay, now. And I just did it. Was that too fast for you? Not a problem. Everybody do not <laughs> that is very eyes. smooth. And uh, I'll just do it one more time. Ooh, boy. That's clean. That's clean. One by one. So you can actually see the coins traveling one at a time. I'm just barely following the flight. So you like, can see barely. Everything. Everybody, watch this coin travel. Okay, what? Watch I... the next one. Go from the side. Okay, yeah, okay, yes, but no. And the people from this side may yes, but no. see you know the what I mean? last one disappear from my fingertips. Watch this last coin vanish, creating a tremor what? in the force as a hundred thousand children watching this suddenly decide that magic <laughs> is cool. I feel like I know what he's doing. Well, no, I know what he's supposed to be doing, but I can't see shit. Like, I know he's like, there's no other way to do it, so I know what he should be doing, but I can't see it. This time visibly, so you actually see each coin jump. This is the part that hits people hard. All I have to do is make the mysterious Asian sounds. What? There's the first. Oh, right. I'll do this shit gets me off guard every time. And that makes three. Like, I can't. The next one, no hands, just because I can. <sighs> Vanishes here, reappears God, in the corner. And I Did not expect that one. That's what it looks like using four cards for cover. It's just too much for this me to time, follow. No cards, just my bare hands and a dose of honesty. I've been performing magic since I was eight years old, and it took me 12 years to create this act. So for me, this is not just a magic trick. This is something far deeper huh. and a thousand times more That's savage. That's so a work clean, bro. beauty that has been growing oh, all my no life way, man. like an uncontrollable weed in the garden of my mind. <laughs> He's so funny, too. I have crossed oceans of time and vast empires to be here today. So I take the honor of performing here very seriously. <laughs> the amount of mental oh, energy I've invested shit, in creating this act could demolish no. planets. This is the most epic monologue in the history of magic. <laughs> for I am this here is hilarious. To inflict psychological damage. And that means we're not done yet. Dude, that is so clean. That one coin vanished at the end? What in the hell? I know what he did, but it's just nuts. You've now seen the devastation I can generate using two hands. Let's take this to the next level. I'll do it again with just one hand. You can ask any magician around the world about performing an illusion this clean using just one hand, and they will tell you that it is physically impossible. And it looks like this. Booyah. Watch the next one. I get nowhere near those coins with my hand, and still vanishes from here, huh. reappears in the corner, and I am the Jackie Chan of magic. <laughs> The next one will invisibly fly from here to there, forming a perfect square. It happens on the count of three. Get ready for this. I've seen it all. Nosebleed, seizures. There's one. There's two. <laughs> That's three. Do that shit right there, man. And as promised, I can now actually show you a perfect square formed by one, two, three, and Woo! four with just one hand. Damn, dude. Oh. You would not believe how epic this feels. My heart is <laughs> <laughs> okay, this guy is hilarious. I'd like to thank each and every one of you for sharing this moment with me because just being here was a dream come true.
So for everyone watching, if you have a dream, never give up believing in your dream, living your dream, and doing something every day to make that dream happen. But remember one thing. You've got to do something that's going to no matter gonna mess with me. Are, no matter how hard you work, oh, yeah, 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 okay. or how good you think you are at what you do, there will always what? How be many are there, bro? Who takes it okay, that last one for me. How? <laughs> Damn. Damn, dude. That shit's nuts. Okay, that that has got to be the best, the best act on Tula. Period. Could you or just watch Teller be so amazed and impressed? Like, oh my gosh! If it was just the slights, if it was just the slights, you could argue, you know, Shin Lim. You could argue all these people. But the fact that he did that with the monologue and the whole like the, the script and everything, that shit's nuts, bro. Wow! I don't even know how to talk to you. Wind me up and let me go. Okay. I'm like a ninja Shakespeare crossed with Hannibal. Straight up, the best act that's ever been on Fuller. Would you like to Straight ask up. me a question, Allison? No, I, I don't care what anyone says. You. Please ask me a question. Okay, what do you eat for <laughs> breakfast? Because I need to oh, start eating. Oh, man. I live on broccoli and blueberries. Can I say something? <laughs> Can I say something really honest to Penn and Teller? Uh, when I was a kid, really, they blew me away with this act they do with a pencil. And being able to come here today, I've never met them before today, and show this to them. It's not me showing my work it's showing them uh, the effect uh, one act on tv can have on a little kid you know it's like bringing it back to them and saying welcome home that's means damn dude that's, really that's just deep yeah. well i feel like you're very at home here in vegas on this stage i googled the show this is season five and the last four seasons before me 240 performers on this stage, only three coin guys before me. And that, that means something. It's hard to put a coin act together, make it entertaining. 100%. Uh, I tried 100%. I, I hope it resonated with the people. I hope you like it. Shit, boy. Damn. Like, co like cohesively as an as a act. Oh, Ryan, baby. Top boy, act ever. That's a, wow. That's a, that's a really good act. And uh, you were just saying how hard coin magic is to do. And we've done versions of Matrix, or Tella has, and uh, we've seen Matrix uh, a zillion times. But you added to that so, so, um, so much comedy and personality. And yeah. also a really different, fresh way to do that, 100%. a fresh style. The um, bravado coupled with the comedy on that, the wink on every bit of it. And we were, uh, you know, we were following you. Uh, and then not, we followed you a lot. You know, we know how to do those That's what I'm saying. It's not something that you we can't always you follow. You and then we, we just gave up. <laughs> yeah, that's how I feel, man. She just beat us into submission with pure skill. Yeah. So the last few things you did, we have no idea how you did them because we were just enjoying yeah, it too yeah, much. Yeah, that's exactly how I feel. Yeah. Like that one, it's like not that you don't know the method, it's that it's so good that you don't see anything that you almost stop giving a shit. Do you know, do you know what I'm saying? That is nuts. That is absolutely nuts. Like, I don't know how I could break this down more than what, uh, what Penn, Tell Penn has said. Uh, I was going to say Penn and Teller has said, but T Teller doesn't say shit. That's the point. <laughs> but damn, bro, that's that's an insane act right there. I mean, if I've ever seen a good act, that's a good act. If it was just a sleight of hand, if it was just a sleight of hand, let's say he did it to music, you could argue, okay, you know, Shin Lim has a crazy act, you know, well, has multiple crazy acts. Um, you know, who who else was a really good act? Like I'm trying to I'm trying to remember, you know, um, there was a, there was a bunch of people like the the, the um, metal. Uh, I'm trying to Paul Gertner with the metal um, metal ball cups and balls. You know that's a pretty nice added twist on something that's already been done. You know, uh, there's so many people that have had crazy acts on on Fool Us. This is nuts. This is next level. I mean, this is like this is like winning FISM type shit. I, I'm surprised. I don't know. I don't know. I need to look into this guy before I say something stupid, because then you guys are gonna comment like, "He is a champion, dude. What are you talking about?" Of course, or something. You know what I mean? Uh, but uh, I don't. I haven't. I wasn't familiar with much of his work, but I'm definitely gonna be looking into him now. It's nuts. That's crazy. 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 Anyway, that's about all I have to say about this. Thank you for watching. As always, mad respect, much love, stay lit, and I'll see you in the next one.